coming into this game, we knew the quality of our opponents and they are the defending champions. Um, but um, we had a plan and uh, sometimes uh, it is so difficult to play under this quality, this kind of quality and then they just overpower your plan. Although we started well, uh, we were defending well and and I thought in the first half it was more or less a 50-50 game but uh, Japan's quality is so good that they got the goals and in the second half our boys uh, showed the character and uh, that's what uh, we were also looking for and we are happy that uh, they pushed for goals and we decided we had decided to win the second half go and win the second half at least you know and then boy gave their best and we are proud of them and we will take this uh, um, uh, lessons uh, learning the experience back home and share it with our uh, young boys who are there and come back again uh, in Asia Cup more stronger thank you thank you coach for your comments now I open the floor for questions Coach, uh, tough luck I will say, but uh, again, first half, uh, as you said, Japan, you know, completely dominated, they missed so many chances. Uh, there are the two ways to see this, you know, this match, do you think that we could have done better in the first half? And in the second half, could we have taken our more chances which we missed? Um, yes, of course, uh, missing chances is uh, part of the game, but uh, yes, yeah, then we, now we can talk about it, if we have to convert, could have been different. But yes, uh, uh, as we know, Japan, uh, they are the, like, the best in Asia, uh, but the, uh, what we played and what we showed today in the game, I'm happy with the boys and the performance and the character to come back and fight till the end the intensity was good in the uh, throughout the 98 minute and uh, that is what uh, uh, we are going to take back coach uh, there was a marked change in your pressing game from the first half to the second half uh, could you just elaborate on that um, Oh uh, yes, um, we uh, had a plan in the first half how we can uh, stop uh, Japan, their quality passing, uh, especially in the midfield uh, where they make a box and we tried to uh, stop that. And But uh, as I said, they overpowered our uh, uh, plan with the quality as we all know. And the second half, uh, we tried uh, c coming more, uh, pushing more on the defenders with three uh, pressing uh, in front and uh, three behind and that's a little bit worked for us and yes, uh, Boyd showed good character after going down in first half 3-0. Uh, so uh, at the end, uh, it's uh, positive for us and we look forward and uh, move forward and take all the le learnings and go back. And then question? In a way, would you say, was it also a change in belief when they first scored the first goal against Japan and then suddenly the intensity went up? Do you think that changed the belief, changed the whole tempo of the match? Of course, uh, uh, that uh, goal, early goal gave us more confidence and belief uh, in, in our boys and uh, that is why it is so important to play uh, competitive uh, matches a lot and tournaments because uh, in training matches there are no consequences and in in uh, in tournaments and or co real competition or league we play uh, there are consequences so so yes uh, the second uh, half first goal early goal gave us uh, more boost and confidence that yes we can press and get goals against Japan as well Uh, coach, uh, on the preparation, I, first I want to watch this game. What did you say to the boys at the halftime? You know, which changed their belief and the momentum because 
their body language was totally different at the second half you know and maybe that hunger came back uh, I, I, i'm talking about the hunger which i have not seen in the first two games that's one thing second thing on the preparation you were in the spain for a longer period than germany do you think that these friendly tournaments or the exposure tour in spain or in germany can be in future replaced by playing a competitive matches against international teams instead of playing in clubs uh um. first thing uh, in the second half uh, we came when we came in the uh, uh, dressing room first thing we we were thinking about what we have uh, in our hands uh, that is we had a uh, 45 minutes in our hands the three goals were already there but uh, we could not do anything about those three goals so what we thought it was what we can do in those 45 minutes how we can go back into this second half more confident and try to win the second half as well you know uh, at least so that is what uh, we decided in the uh, dressing room and boys were all uh, ready to think ahead instead of thinking of those three goals so that's how the boys were all looking forward in the uh, uh, second uh, second half uh, the exposure uh, yes it helps a lot the the quality matches we played in spain and germany the highest level like uh, in the world uh, in real madrid and uh, atletico that that helps but also if you can mix it up with uh, one uh, competition like uh, playing a tournament four nation tournaments or uh, you know uh, going and playing some tournaments where there are consequences where there is a red card where you make a miss pass there are consequences but in a pre- training match if there is a yellow card red card there are no consequences so the keeping that in mind always helps the playing competition and another question uh coach on a bigger thing you know on a long term basis because if you see top european countries even japan for example they have not prepared for this tournament for two months so do you think on a longer way in india back home we need a league for under 17 you know where our pool of talent of national team keeps on playing competitive games as we speak and when tournaments come you get them before you know one month or maybe uh, uh, 20 days before and then prepare them for a major tournament like this do you think that will be a better model going ahead absolutely uh, more number of games the better uh, for our boys because uh, you cannot get this kind of level what japan had the game inside the the, the playing under pressure and you know still making a, a penetration in our defense line this comes only in while playing games the more number of games we play and the level of games is required so we need to uh, be to, uh, you know uh, working on that and definitely there is talent in india absolutely and if we start doing this and uh, we will see a better much better team than this one in the next asia cup now we have a question from some participants uh, from asawati from the bridge coach even after playing so many games against top sides the team still looks like they are nervous at times what do you want wrong and how do you plan to fix this mentality side yes uh, that is what um, the competition uh, competitive matches is important playing tournaments is important uh, playing long leagues is important so that that will take away all the nervousness and you know the all the uh, Uh, other pa- uh, uh, elements where we can play better in this ga- uh, this type of competition so more number of matches more tournaments more uh, longer leagues will help us in this area mariana yoshiro head coach of japan coach can you share your thoughts on the match and your team performance <coughs> 相手にチャンスを与えないようにしながら得点を3つ重ねていい形で前半を終了できたと思うんですけど、まあ、後半、まあ、一気に3枚交代して<笑>、まあそえー、ちょっとこうやることが不明なんて言いますかねあの統一感がなくなってしまって。まあ、相手を元気づかせてしまったというか、まあ、そういうゲームになったかなと思います。On the first half, Big Duke scored three goals、uh, with a good 
uh, opportunity and we could finish the first half. But uh, in the second half, uh, in, during the half time, we uh, substituted three players and uh, their uh, thinking of the player, it was not so clear and it, it cheered, cheered uh, India and it could be a difficult game in the second half. Thank you, Coach, for all your comments. Now I open the door for questions. Uh, Coach Ashish Nehi here. Congratulations for the uh, topping the group and qualifying for the quarterfinals. Uh, so I have two questions. You know, uh, first half, your team had so many chances. You know, and you only able to score few goals. So do you think that your team could have done better in the second, first half to score more goals? What as it uh, point out that you made changes the half time? Indian crowd also started feeling the game more and I think they pushed the players really. How was the Indian's <coughs> performance in the second half? And I have one more question on that, you know, do you think goal difference was in your mind at half time because Uzbekistan was leading 1-0 against Vietnam? あ、前半たくさんチャンスを作って、あの、点を決めることができたと思うんですけど、ハーフタイムにどのような指示をしましたか。特にま、ウズベキスタンとベトナムのスコアとかもそのあたり気にして、ハーフタイム指示を行った
日本のようなユユユーフォルムインディア。まあ、インドには日本のようなこういう良いフットボールの発展というものがま,あまだ整っていないところがありますでまあ後半、まあ、あの後半のようにより改善していくために何かコメントがあればぜひお願いします後半のためにというか後半、まあ、インドの良さ少し見せれたっていうまあ本当あのウォーミングアップ見てても一人一人もうテクニックを持った選手で,でこうフィジカルの部分でも日本の選手を上回るような部分も本当ありましたし、まあ、そ,うそういう選手、まあ、ある程度のレベルに達している選手は多いと思うのでそのレベルをこう本当に広,広げていくというか草の根、まあ、あのなんていうの最初の四、なんていうんだっけな、四種みたいな、グラスルーツとか、とかあとやっぱりユース年代の指導みたいなのをしっかりしていけば、あのここにいるクラスのあの選手のそのまあはなんていうか、人数が増えれば、日本はもうもろそれだと思うんですね。このここにいる選手に近いレベルがもう本当たくさんいるんですけどやっぱりそういう選手のレベルの数みたいなところはやっぱり地道にその草の根、ね、レベルからその育てていけば十分ポテンシャルもう選手今日出てた選手のレベルっていうのはかなりいいところに来てると思うんで自信持って。So the impression of Indian football,、uh, he checks the warm-up of the Indian team and the players have technique and physical level and the player on the pitch was so high level.、Uh, maybe he imagines that the difference between Japan and India is,、uh, for example, Japan has a grassroots development and we have many good players in Japan Who, who are not selected in this team, but we can substitute many players because we have many top level players. So he guessed that if Indian grassroots more developed,、uh, Indian football has a lot of potential, so it can be a so big rival in the future. 